Hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Today we're going to talk about re-amping. You may or may not have heard of this, but it's a really cool trick you can do with your DAW. If you have an old amplifier that you really like the tone of, and you want to run some tracks through it that you've recorded to your computer. So I'm sitting here next to this Rocktron Max preamp that I bought in the late 80s. And I used this on pretty much every gig I played uh, during the 90s when I was touring. I was in a Metallica tribute called Damage Incorporated. I was the James Hetfield. Yes, I was, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah. And not only did I use this for my tone, but the other guitar player in the band also used one, and he ran it through a Marshall, 100-watt uh, Marshall head, and uh, was able to color it a little bit further. But most of the tone came from the Rocktron Max. And we both just loved the tone we got through these things. To us, this was the metal sound. Back then, you couldn't get that sound uh, with any other hardware, as far as anything we had tried. Super crunchy, super chunky with the low end and just was great for the Metallica song. Very, very crunchy and chunky. So when I was recently reading about uh, reamping, because uh, a few people have been asking me in the forums and the Facebook groups how to do this in Mixcraft. So I was checking it out and reading up on it, and it turns out it's very simple. Uh, and what I got excited about was using reamping on some of the, the projects that I've done in Mixcraft more recently. More recently than this thing, but not that recently. I'm going to call them older projects, but they're still more recent than that. Um, and what I'm going to do is turn off the virtual amps that I used, may it have been uh, Shred or Guitar Rig or Dominator or whatever it was. I'm going to turn that off and just run the, uh, the, the dry, clean guitar signal out of the DAW into this guitar amp as if it were a guitar player, mic it up right here, run it back into the DAW and record that just as if I was recording a guitar player through an amp. So let's get to it. Check it out. Okay, so here we are in Mixcraft Pro Studio 9. And I've got a project open that I created about a year ago. It's called 13 to Go. And here on the guitar track, I used Dominator for my virtual amp. Uh, Dominator is awesome, but for today, our purposes, we want to shut that off and have a completely dry and clean signal that we're going to send out to the hardware amplifier in the other room of my studio. So let's play a little bit of this track so you can hear what it sounds like completely dry and clean. So yeah, that's that's dry. It's it's the opposite of awesome. It's the opposite of metal. Does not sound good. That's actually what we want right now. We're going to send that out to the amp and the way we're going to do that is with an output track. And I've already created it here, but what you can do is click plus track, add output bus track. And then what you're going to want to do is hit this drop down right here and choose the hardware channel that you want to send the signal to. Now I have a Presonus Studio Live 1602. It's a mixing board slash interface. And what I've done is uh, plugged a cable to the output of Auxiliary 4 on it and ran that into the amplifier out there in the other room. Um, so I'm sending this dry guitar signal to channel 3 on the Personas and then on the channel 3 of the hardware I'm turning up the send which sends audio to the auxiliary number 4. And that is going to be sent to that amplifier. So let's go up here and what we're going to do next is go to the mixer and we want to change the output for the uh, dry guitar track to go to that output track that we created. It's right here. So we select that and as I selected that I can hear that amp come to life out in the other room. So now when I play it you may not be able to hear that very good just through my microphone that I'm speaking through but it's loud. So it's like there's a guy out there playing guitar. So the next thing we want to do is record it. And I have a microphone on the cabinet out there, and I've got it plugged into, I believe, 
channel 4 of my interface so let's arm the track and now when I play this you're gonna see this input level meter light up alright so we've got it set up correctly and the next thing I want to do is just record and let this track record that amp out there all the way through the whole song so let's do that two hours later okay now that we've got that recorded let's take a listen I'm going to disarm that I'm going to mute this one now what we should hear I guess I'll leave that pan to the left is uh, the recording of the guitar amp well, let's solo it that is cool let's check it out with the song yep so all that needs is a little bit of mixing like any other guitar track and I've got some reverb set up here for it and I also want to use the mixer and add some compression smooth it out a little bit that's very cool hearing that uh, tone that I used to use constantly uh, on my new stuff my newer stuff so there you go uh, there's reamping for you I hope that uh, helps you out thanks for watching the video peace